Hello, friends of the Adario. Um, thank you very much for having us here in this. Um, I, I'd say we can talk about our perception, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. About tone. Um, uh, obviously, we can only talk about. Well, we can talk about different tones in different uh, players, but we can talk better about our own tone that we developed playing this instrument. Um, we didn't go to school, to music school, to, you know, for us to give you a very um, uh, specific talk in acoustic tones, since we don't really know. We kind of developed this by accident. That's the reality, because we went uh, from electric guitars to acoustic, and we went to travel to, more than 20 years ago. We went to Europe and we was in the streets, probably a few of you that know who we are as a band, uh, you know the story already, but we were just jamming and busking in the streets uh, for a couple of years in Europe before we kind of uh, sign our uh, first record deal. But um, the, the reason we did that was to travel lighter. So with the electric guitars and amplifiers was a little bit like a difficult thing to, to do for us, or at least we wanted to be uh, traveling from country to country. And we developed this sound coming from a rock band. First of all, we tried to, to transcribe, er, translate everything we used to do in the electric to the acoustic. Then Gabriela started to move around. We love different kind of music, jazz or whatever, flamenco. And she um, developed a very uh, unique technique in the right hand side, uh, in the right hand, sorry, and um, which this yes. gives another, yeah, excuse yeah, me. No, go for um, it. So this gives another tone to the music because even though a lot of people think we say, "Well, you play flamenco and all of these things," I wish, I wish I can play flamenco. I don't, unfortunately, but I do move my hands in a very percussive way, and uh, with all the harmonies and also some bass lines, but with a bit. And that gives another tone because it's, it's the, the um, you might think sometimes I would, you're hearing like a full band, but it's the two of us and, and, and that's, the diff, that's the tone of it. And a lot of people say, oh, that's Rodrigo Gabriela because the, the sound, that sound is particularly a sound they can produce with the two guitars. Mm -hmm. So, and, and I think uh, what makes it personal, your own sound as a musician, when you are young, you want to develop your own sound. I think that counts also the experiences you have in life and all of that. At that time, we were traveling all over the place and, and we just like cultural shocked because we was the first time for us in Europe. And I think all of those experiences really influence the way you play and the way you develop your own techniques. Yes. And I think the um, the way you are perceiving life at that moment not only goes to tone and I think it works as well when we talk about composition everything is very unique and um, when we st when you start a band and you go through whatever stage in your life of your life you are in um, that makes you play with certain amount of strength with certain amount of uh, enthusiasm with certain amount of um, you know color inspiration. inspiration so that creates the sound of the band so if you like the first album or the first songs you write as a, as a band then you have a reference to follow and then that's the way you develop your own tone right and sayonara happy practice and hopefully see you soon and take care story. of yourself ciao ciao